Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On June 28, a netizen on the social media platform If This News Is Verified, then the next generation Kareen Chip is expected to achieve pure localization in terms of CPU. In August last year, Huawei launched the Mate 60 series of smartphones, equipped with Kirin 9000S processor. Although the processor has made significant progress in localization, some technologies still rely on overseas resources. The CPU part uses Huawei's independently developed Taishan large and medium cores, as well as the ARM Cortex A510 small core. The large core and medium core use Huawei's independent architecture, while the small core still uses ARM's core design. Now, Huawei plans to upgrade the small core ARM architecture to the independently developed Taishan core. This upgrade means that the CPU part of the Kirin chip will completely adopt the Taishan core, thereby achieving better coordination between large cores, medium cores and small cores. This upgrade is expected to avoid problems similar to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor, when the processor shut down some cores due to severe heat after running at high load for a long time, and the remaining cores ran under high load, forming a so-called the phenomenon of one core is in trouble, seven cores are watching. By adopting a unified Taishan core architecture, Huawei's Kirin chips will be able to provide more stable and efficient performance. Architecture is the basis for a chip's design and functionality. It determines key characteristics such as efficiency, performance and power consumption of the chip. As mentioned in the article, Huawei is improving the autonomy of its chips and reducing its dependence on ARM and Intel x86 architecture through its independently developed Taishan core. This means that Huawei's chip design is achieving technological independence and innovation, resulting in significant progress in performance and power consumption. According to media reports, the Taishan small core performed well in the Geekbench 5 test, with a single core score of 350 points, a 75% improvement compared to the ARM public version of the small core. This progress heralds a significant improvement in CPU performance of Huawei's next-generation Kirin chip, and the Mate 70 series of mobile phones may be the first to be equipped with this chip. Facing the challenges brought by the expiration of Intel supply license, Huawei is solving the coreless availability problem of PC products through independent research and development. There are rumors in the market that Huawei is developing a PC chip based on the Taishan core. The performance will be comparable to Apple M3 and integrate more AI functions to meet the needs of the AI era. The autonomy of Huawei's chips is constantly increasing, and architectural independence is an important symbol of its technological progress. In the future, Huawei is expected to further reduce its reliance on external architecture and achieve more comprehensive technological independence. The core of chip design lies in the architecture, which determines the overall structure and organization of the chip, involving effective planning and organization of functions, performance, power consumption, layout and connections. Architecture directly affects the ease, cost, power consumption and market competitiveness of chip design. Chip architecture includes hardware architecture, and software architecture. The hardware architecture involves the processor core, cache, memory, input and output interfaces, etc., while the software architecture includes the operating system, programming model, instruction set, etc. The global chip architecture market is mainly controlled by two major companies, ARM and Intel. ARM's reduced instruction set architecture has simple functions, few execution cycles, and low energy consumption, making it very suitable for mobile devices and embedded devices. Currently, more than a quarter of the world's electronic devices use ARM technology, and the proportion of smartphones is as high as over 95%. Intel's x86 architecture is a complex instruction set with strong performance and stability, but it consumes a lot of energy, and is more suitable for desktop computers 
and supercomputers. In the PC and server market, the x86 architecture has a market share of 91%, the ARM architecture accounts for 8%, and domestic architectures, such as Lingson and Sunway, as well as domestic RISC-V chips, have a market share of less than 1%. The global chip architecture market is monopolized by ARM and Intel. RISC-V is an open source and free architecture, originated from the University of California, Berkeley, and controlled by the RISC Open Source Foundation. The RISC Open Source Foundation emphasizes the free and open source nature of RISC-V, which is not restricted by any country or individual. However, with the development of RISC-V, whether it can maintain its open source and free features is still a question. Therefore, independent research and development is the key, the key to the future, survival of domestic chips, and the courage for China to say no in the face of injustice. Huawei has made significant progress in the field of chip architecture, successfully getting rid of its dependence on ARM architecture, and independently developed the CPU instruction set Lingxi. This not only solves the problem of chip architecture, but also combines with Huawei's independently developed Hongmeng operating system to demonstrate strong autonomy. Even if ARM does not license the latest V9 architecture, and Intel does not license the x86 architecture, Huawei can still continue to develop chips and continuously improve its autonomy while developing new technologies, such as hyperthreading technology on the mobile side. In the field of GPU, Huawei has the Ascend series of chips, in terms of 5G baseband, it has the Baolong series, in terms of base station chips, it has the Qiangang series. These product lines have enriched Huawei's technical reserves and enhanced its competitiveness in the chip market. Alibaba has also achieved rapid development in the RISC-V architecture, launching products, such as the Xiantai series and the Wujin series, further promoting the progress of domestic chip technology. Lunsen Junker continues to make efforts in the field of computer CPU and server CPU. The independently developed Long Arch architecture has been tested by the market and will continue to be optimized in terms of performance and ecology in the future. Domestic chips are being rapidly updated and iterated towards deeper autonomy, higher performance and a more complete ecosystem. Not only does this take time, but it also requires sustained stamina and commitment. China's chip industry chain has begun to take shape, covering chip design, manufacturing, packaging and testing, as well as EDA, semiconductor equipment and materials, etc., has achieved localization and has been continuously improved in ecological construction. With the continuous advancement of domestic chip technology, and the maturity of the industrial chain, it is expected that a Chinese chip industry chain will be formed in the future that is comparable to the Western chip industry chain, bringing new competitiveness to the global chip market. Indeed, the development of domestic chips cannot be expected to happen overnight. As you mentioned, Intel in the United States has developed for 56 years since its establishment in 1968. ARM also has a history of more than 30 years, and ASML has 40 years of development experience. The long-term accumulation and continuous innovation of these companies have established their leading position in the chip industry. In contrast, domestic chip companies such as Lungsen, Huawei High Silicon, Shanghai Microelectronics, BGI Jiuqian, etc. were mostly established after 2000 and have a relatively short development time, with only about 20 years of history. It is undoubtedly an arduous task to surpass these established companies in a short period of time. In addition, overseas chip companies have first-mover advantages in patents, technology, components and equipment, setting a higher threshold. At the same time, they also use various means to block and suppress domestic chips, making the development environment for domestic chips even more severe. Therefore, the development of domestic chips requires a marathon strategy, that is, through continuous efforts and accumulation, we will gradually lay a solid foundation and move forward step by step. Although this steady development approach may take longer, 
it is more conducive to achieving long-term and sustainable transcendence. As a leader in domestic chips, Huawei has set an example in this regard. Through independently developed chip architecture, instruction sets and operating systems, Huawei has not only improved its competitiveness, but also established confidence in other domestic chip companies, bringing hope to the development of the entire domestic chip industry. In short, the development of domestic chips requires patience and perseverance. Through continuous technological innovation and accumulation, we can gradually narrow the gap with the international advanced level and finally achieve transcendence. Thumbs up if you agree.